Aloha Marine Corps Base Hawaii, it's Corporal Altman with another edition of the Hawaii Marine. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. April is nationally recognized as Earth Month, a time dedicated to environmental education and awareness. In order to assist the preservation of our peninsula, service members and civilians across the installation participated in a variety of events held by our Environmental Compliance and Protection Division. Volunteers were able to participate in events such as Operation Clean Water Ohana, focused on marking storm drains and raising awareness of potential runoff contaminants that could end up in the ocean, as well as Weed Warriors, which consisted of the removal of invasive plant species and debris from the new Upia ponds, helping preserve the natural wetlands. April is also recognized as Month of the Military Child. Our very own Makapo Elementary held a purple update where participants wore purple to show support to the resilience and determination of military impacted students. Hilary Pilialoha, Transition Center Coordinator at Mokapo Elementary, has more on the event. We have over 900 students, 99% of them are military impacted, so it's important that we recognize and we honor these students so that they know that they are valued and that they can be resilient wherever they go. So just like the dandelion, they can bloom wherever they're planted. Across the Pacific, MCBH Space Service members are conducting training in both the Philippines and Australia. Exercise Balakatan, which took place throughout the month of April, will soon see service members from both Marine Aircraft Group 24 and 3rd Marine Littoral Regiment return to MCBH after completing the annual exercise between the Armed Forces of the Philippines and U.S. military, designated to strengthen bilateral capabilities and cooperation built over decades of shared experiences. As Exercise Balakatan comes to an end, the 12th iteration of Marine Rotational Force Darwin is underway. VMM 363 deployed in support of MRFD earlier this month. MRFD serves as a forward postured, partnered, and combat credible Marine Air Ground Task Force in order to facilitate rapid response to crisis and contingencies, increased combined warfighting capability, and strengthening shared alliances and partnerships. Before service members from MCBH can depart on exercises such as Exercise Balakatan and MRF-D, critical training is conducted on shared ranges and training areas throughout Hawaii. This month, Marine Corps Essential Training Areas received some distinguished visitors and community members. First, MCBH leadership hosted elected officials during a tour of Puloa Range Training Facility, providing them an opportunity to discuss the range's training operations, recent facility changes, environmental stewardship efforts, and future initiatives to mitigate and reduce concerns from the neighboring community. Over on the Big Island, service members from across Hawaii participated in Experience PTA Day, a community engagement event on Pohakaloa Training Area focused on showcasing the training capabilities and cultural preservation conducted on the island's training area. Staff Sergeant Johnny Walker, PTA Marine Training Liaison, has more on the significance of PTA to the Marines of Hawaii. The PTA is the uh, premier training site of the Pacific. The Marine Corps gets a lot of training up here that they can't get on Oahu or elsewhere in the Pacific. One of the biggest issues is land space. Land space up here at PTA is much larger than the training area that you'll get on Oahu, as well as the realism of an austere environment, higher altitude, and the planning that goes into that. Lastly, a number of significant ceremonies took place aboard the installation. Over at Dewey Square, service and community members were recognized for their shared time and selfless contributions during the Presidential Volunteer Service Awards Ceremony. Over at the flight line, U.S. Navy Commander Alan W. Jacob relinquished command of Helicopter Maritime Strike Squadron 37 to Commander Brian M. Maury earlier this month. HSM 37 is the largest expeditionary squadron in the U.S. Navy and supports all Pearl Harbor-based Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and Ticonderoga-class cruisers. As April came to an end, Marine Aircraft Group 24 saw Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Blumenfeld relinquish command to Colonel William G. Hyken. First Small Commanding General, Major General Eric Austin attended the change of command ceremony. As MAG-24 is undergoing a significant transformation with the deactivation of HMH-363 and HMLA-367 this past year, the recent activation of VMGR-153 and future adoption of the MQ-9 Alpha as part of VMU-3. 
While we're on the topic of the MQ-9 Alpha, VMU-3 just recently received their first two MQ-9 Alpha Reapers, fresh out of the box. Service and civilian members of VMU-3 will work on assembling, testing, and inspections over the next couple months before the official first flight ceremony in early August. And that's it for this month's edition of the Hawaii Marine. Be sure to follow us on social media and stay updated with our MCBH Hawaii Bulletin page. Mahalo!